Bed. Love. Bed. Bed. Love. <laughs> beyond. beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Bed. Love. Beyond, episode twenty-two. This is the podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. In my head, I had a joke, but it just wasn't going to like go, so forget it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Bed Love Beyond, the podcast for the hopeful and the hater in us to discuss sex, love, and whatever's clever with like-minded people like you who are also in limbo with love. Like us. I am one of your hosts, Martini, and the other host is... Still Jen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and episode 22... It's like still Dre. It's still Dre? Still Dre. <laughs> still Jen. Uh, episode 22 is going to be about it's not so black and white interracial relationships Ooh, yeah scary monsters <laughs> yeah it's probably going to be a very interesting episode and we have a full house today oh snap yeah we have and it's cool because we have one of our oldest fans our first fan <laughs> i love when he calls you that <laughs> he's like April and our is number one house. fan yes our number i'm like one the fan. president of the friend club there it is it. oh but don't be like selena's president of the fan club because if you no. fucking kill me i'm gonna come back and haunt your ass <laughs> well if i give you a ring that looks like an egg then it looks like an egg <laughs> then you'll know <laughs> we have april in the house hello april hello what's going on and we have our newest member look at that spectrum oh oh oldest oh to the newest special guest ralph Hi guys, what's going on? Good, 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 good. All right, good. Glad to be here. Good. Um, so before we get into um a topic, oh, thank you for listening to us on Podbean, iTunes, Podcast, Stitcher, and Google Play. Yes, Google Play. Google um, Play should like give me something, <laughs> like for real. Yeah, she has all Google products, and she's gonna buy that new Google Home thing. Uh huh. Yeah. She, buy Alexa. Yeah, she's saying buy to Alexa the um what is it uh, Amazon. Yeah, but. What what would you call it? The home talker friend system. Yeah, like, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, the AI thing. I asked whatever. her questions and she's like, I'm sorry, I don't know that. Are you Fuck gonna off. return it? No, I want it. <laughs> no, because <laughs> <laughs> no, it was weird. Like I was talking to the dog last night and it started talking. I was like, Oh, I don't like that. It's a robot in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not yet. Um, so before we get into the topic, we usually go into, well, if we have anything to talk about, Daily Dish. And I believe we want to keep you abreast about what's going on with Jennifer's big decision kind of thing. Oh, okay. So yeah. so Janika was on our podcast, and I guess like she hadn't really listened to the podcast. She just had a lot to add to the podcast, and she was a great guest. And so then Janika like, randomly hits up Martini and was like, oh, I was listening to your podcast, and I heard that jen wanted to go to a swingers club that is not exactly what i said i said martini should go to a swingers club and i'd go with him for support and somehow i got invited but you did not get invited correct <laughs> i was i was kicked out of the uh <laughs> and the, you know every time you apparently. ask martini like so like before when april's like oh are you going you're like i was invited i wasn't <laughs> i'm just saying like well yeah because we uh we asked the we asked the audience about uh because you guys don't like to write in <laughs> or, or <laughs> call in. Yeah, so we're like, all right, we're going to do a challenge. And we wanted to let you guys oh, know. Oh, nobody did. And, and we and we put out a poll, too. I put I specifically put out the poll saying, should Jen and I go to a swingers club? Right. You know, for whatever resource purposes and stuff like that. Because we were Holy talking about um, uh, situationships and all that stuff. Right, 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 right. And, like, the next day. <laughs> like Janika texts like, "Hey, I I heard about episode twenty. Um, I want to go, with Jen." And I was like, "Oh, because <laughs> I was a part of that equation." <laughs> but okay, like maybe you weren't <laughs> listening clear enough. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it was it was supposed to be a a girls' night out. I don't know. I haven't really. I don't know. It's on a Friday night. Uh, I don't like strangers touching me. <laughs> <laughs> but that does, <laughs> just because Not you go, like, that doesn't mean like, that they're that gonna time touch we went you. To, remember that time we went to get massages, and then like I had, I had that real like really butch girl at the massage school. Yeah, I didn't like that. I had a bad experience. I was like tense walking in and walking out. It's a bad mm. time. I don't think they'll be as rude as that to just like just go up and like touch you. Dick just swinging, like, hey, whatever. You know, mm. but I think they'd be uh, polite. Remember, remember how much the guys are paying. So I think they'd be polite. 
I don't know. I'll have to let her know. But Janika, thank you for uh, listening and paying attention. <laughs> and um, thank you for inviting me. But maybe we can like get coffee or something. I don't know. <laughs> what a downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Swingers club. Mm, Starbucks. <laughs> Jeez. That's just the kind of girl I am. We'll see. I don't know. Anyhow. Maybe they won't be polite, though. Maybe they'll be like, I paid $100. What's really good? Bend over. I'll stab a motherfucker. <laughs> I swear to God, I will. Oh, my goodness. I'll like pull out the, the valet key in my mm. car key thing. I'm like, shank somebody out style. Wow. For real, it ain't a game. So, oh, okay, so let's ask the guests. So, April, <laughs> would you ever go to a singers club? Nah. Really? Why, why not? I don't, I'd be uncomfortable too. Mm. Yeah. I just. I wouldn't do well in there. Would you ever go with your. Significant other. Yeah, significant other. No, that's when I shank somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ain't, doing, we're we ain't doing that. No. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd be uncomfortable. It's just, I'd just be weird. Mm-hmm. I would be weird and awkward and uncomfortable. And- it was uncomfortable at the spa with the naked ninja bitches walking around. Right. Yeah. Mm. We were like, should, we just stood there. Like, right, we're like, mm. no. <laughs> I wouldn't be uncomfortable with like all the nakedness. But I would just be uncomfortable. It's like, what do you say? That's what that's what I was saying before. <laughs> that's what I was saying before to Jennifer. Like I was saying, like I was giving an example. Like, all right, so I get so I get there, and you know, I see you know a guy and a girl, and they're doing it right. And I'm she, like, when she told me you get there and you take a shower, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, uh, wait, uh, um, Janika. <laughs> yeah. So I'll let you know, if you have to take a shower when you get there. That means you have to pack up lotion. And you want this damn all lotion? Because <laughs> you did, you have to pack up all this stuff, right? The washcloth, towel. Come on. <laughs> no, but I was, yeah, I was giving the examples. Nah, like, yeah, buddy. How do I get there? And like, you know, I want to be like, I want to get down with that girl, but she's you know apparently busy. Is you know like, what mm-hmm. do I do? Do I like you know tap like, excuse me? Do you have any gray Poupon? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I do? <laughs> Oh, like, maybe it's like WWE. You can like get tagged in. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe you wear a bra- I think you have to wear a bracelet that says what you're into. What you're down for. Re- oh, that's smart. Because what happens oh, yeah. if the husband wants you? What? No, no, but no. but so My can- anxiety is already like through the <laughs> no, fucking roof. But, I just have But that would be very interesting because like, mm-hmm. yeah, if it's like, I don't know, like blue for like, I don't know, whatever. Like I go uh, both like, ways. Yeah, so <laughs> pink is no, nah, but then, but then you're like, all right, I need to stay away from that corner over there. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. I'm good, you know, because like, hey guy, oh, hey, I'm wearing green, I'm wearing green. You know what I'm saying? Green, like, green. Yeah, so it's like take it easy. Well, remember that's we smart. had a coworker that did it. Remember her? Remind me later. And they both want you know who, and they both <laughs> wanted who was the weirdest person we worked with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they both wanted the girl, and neither one of them wanted the guy. Oh. Her and her boyfriend yeah. wanted the girl from the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy was like so unattractive. And they like <laughs> met them on Craigslist or no. Craigslist killer. No. They met them Hashtag on um meetup.com. POF. Oh, okay. Yeah. And wow. neither one of them re- the guy wasn't cute, but Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's just so what happened? Was he just watching? Yeah. I guess so. And that sucks. And she was, yeah, I think <laughs> she said watch, he was. Did you just watch your girl just I was telling April before, yeah. speaking of swinging, and she doesn't listen to this podcast, and if she does, I don't think she cares. Um, my friend, who I think I mentioned before in the podcast, who agreed to like swing with her husband, like they had rules. Like I recently saw she was like on Facebook and she's like away and she's like posting pictures with some dude. And like they're away for her birthday, and like the dude's Facebook profile is like a picture of him and her, and her husband's fo- Facebook profile picture is a picture of him and his wife. Like my heart breaks for him. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like he must be like going crazy. Like I, I couldn't fathom. Like I don't get it. I don't. I just don't get it. Like I just feel so bad. And she's just like partying. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but why do you think that he doesn't know? He probably knows, but he's probably sitting at home, like rocking back and forth and crying. That's terrible. Ter- it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, that's I can't be a part of this. So Ralph, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the whole deal about swinging and like sex clubs and all that stuff? Would you do that? What do you th- What do you think about it? I don't know that I would necessarily. Uh, well, first of all, I don't think you ever say. I don't think you ever say. Um, no to anything mm-hmm. um but i find it interesting that that uh 
we, we're one of the few species on the planet that pra practices monogamy. I've heard that before. So, mm -hmm. uh, most other species on the planet. Yeah. Don't penguins pa practice monogamy? I said one of the few. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, and lobsters. Oh, lobsters. who knew? <laughs> uh, She's collecting it in the bank. Uh -huh. She's like, oh. <laughs> Wait till I get Lobster. to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Lobsters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> During break time. <laughs> I, yeah. I do think it is something that you have to be, um, you and your partner definitely have to be uh, open and able to discuss what you just said about the, the other guy maybe not knowing. Right, right. He, he's got to know. So right. Yeah, he's got to know whether he's accepting it or not. That's. But I think both parties have to be completely open and honest, not just with each other, but with themselves about how like they want to deal with that. It's not something personally that I would want because I know how I, I am. And I definitely don't. Uh, I don't look down or or disagree with anyone who who does practice that. I think it's you know your life. You only live it once. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So Janika, I'll let you know, girl. By the time <laughs> this podcast comes out, you'll have already had your answer. <laughs> but, there's like other things we could do <laughs> coming out with me in April. True, that'd be a good time. <laughs> um, Listen, at <Aunt> Martini. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, interracial relationships. Yeah, interracial relationships. That is the main topic of the podcast. I've only really gone out with like uh, uh one like black chick. That's about it. And it was very, a word. It was very <laughs> short lived. Um, but I've gone out with. Like everybody else, like you know, uh, well, I was engaged to a Costa Rican. Um, went out with like a lot of white chicks, and I, I don't want, I, I hate when I'm about to say prefer, but like I'm just attracted to more, like just like white chicks. Oh, know? Christine Hamilton looking girls. Eh. <laughs> I, that was a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really bad example. But um, but yeah, um, that that's that's my thing. I mean, I don't necessarily hate on like black chicks because like a lot of especially like my brother he keeps getting on me yo why don't you take a black chick yo what what's wrong with a black chick and i'm just like why don't you calm down <laughs> 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 you know it's just like who does uh, your brother date uh black chicks at all D yeah he's, he oh. hasn't he hasn't dated really anybody else mm -hmm. um yeah i guess he i don't know if is he's he attracted to white chicks um, yeah, because I remember, well, see, I don't know, because, like, he, he kind of wanted to, like, challenge himself, because he's like, yo. It's a challenge. I never really dated a white <laughs> hey chick now. before. He's like, no, he's like, I never really dated a white chick. I want to see what's up with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's like a new world or something like that. And I'm I like. I don't like when people think like that. I don't know. For, about anything. Right. Like, I don't think like that. Like, I didn't wake up one morning and be like, I wonder what a black dude be like. Mm. No. Yeah. Th well, cause that's, I just saw a Tay Diggs movie. And I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just attracted to what I'm attracted to, but I don't know if there's like a like a pattern or anything like that, you know, but I don't know, whatever. Right. But um what about you? Well <laughs> I think back in the day I dated white guys. Mm -hmm. I remember I dated the Italian guy. Mm -hmm. But I was like young, like a kid. Like I wasn't even like it wasn't really dating. I was like, Oh, we held hands on the bus. Like <laughs> <laughs> bitch like that. Right. And then like my first real boyfriend was Puerto Rican and I think it went like up the Spanish line mm -hmm. to black somewhere mm -hmm. in college after the Dominican guy. Right. And then I dated him for seven years. Mm. And I didn't think he was black. He didn't act black. Right. Well, whatever the fuck that means. He didn't act black to white America. Okay. Right. So like people who you see on the street who, you know, when white people get all like those black people. I'm white. I know what white people say. Trust me. <laughs> like, he was a nice dude. I don't know. We dated for seven years. And then from there, I think there was another black guy. I don't remember. Mm. And then I tried to date a white guy. We have talked about this. Yeah. And did it in a restraining order. Yeah. And I thought, like, <laughs> okay, maybe, like, I didn't, like, date him because he was white. I dated him because he was nice. And, like, I was attracted to him as a kid. He was cool. Yeah. Um, he seemed cool until I realized he was crazy. And, like... But I remember I, I talked, I think I was talking to you that one night when we went for pizza. Like I was with him, but I just didn't, I felt like something was like missing. Right. Like I felt like some, there was like a lack of like, there was like a disconnect. Like our families were friends and that was cool. And like we liked each other and that was cool. And like everything seemed to be on point, but there was just like some kind of disconnect. Like he didn't get me. Like he got like surface gen, 
but he didn't get me. Yeah. And I was just like, eh, I don't know how long this is going to last. But then he went crazy, so it worked out for everybody. <laughs> right. And then restraining order happened. And then I was like, eh, oh, well, enough of that. <laughs> but I mean, I see like white actors or white people on the street. And I'm like, oh, he's cute. But I think at the end of the day, like, there's a disconnect. Like, I feel like I am too alpha for most white. Like, to me, I'm the loudmouth Italian bitch. Mm-hmm. And they're uh, not dealing with that. Right. They don't know how to deal with that. Yeah. So I will, like, chop you down and spit you out, and then we're done. So there's no point. Mm-hmm. In my humble opinion. Right. You look so serious right now. No, I'm just <laughs> hearing what you're saying. <laughs> so that's my stance on it. So if I if I met a nice white guy, I'd talk to him, but then eventually he'd probably be like, you're a bit much. I'd be like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> so April, what about you? Um... A couple times dates, but nothing serious. Mm-hmm. With uh, what like white guys or yeah, white or whatever. Asian. Mm-hmm. Remember you told me about Spanish. the white guy with the uh, was it a white guy who wore the the socks and sandals? And he was like real cute, and his parents owned a restaurant. Yes, a bar. A it bar, like right? A, well, it was like a bar where you can get wings and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. He lied about his height, so. Oh, he was short, right? But yeah, shorter yeah. than you. We were like oh, okay. eye to eye. So but he was like, bad. I'm 5'10". I'm like, and I met him. I'm like, you're not 5'10". <laughs> that's what I said before I said hello. Yeah. yeah. You're not 5'10". I, I, I know you grew, I know you grew <laughs> up in height. That's the first thing yeah. you said to him? Yeah. I was like, you are not 5'10". He walked into Starbucks. I was like, you're not 5'10". Mm. Imagine if you walked out. Yeah. That would have been hot. Imagine if I walked out. That's what I'm saying. You walked out. <laughs> oh, I thought you said imagine if he walked yeah, out. Yeah, you walked in. Yeah. You said, you're not 5'10". And you like switched and like. Bye. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, come on. I'm like, no, you lied. <laughs> Let's address that before we do this coffee thing. <laughs> but yeah, nothing. I I know it's it is like a not a cultural thing, mm-hmm. but like this one white guy I dated. He had like a T top Camaro. I think it's a Camaro. Okay. Or, An I Rock Z. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> And I and it was like Italian retard out cruising. You had, you had one. Yeah. Is that what he's pointing? <laughs> and you used to take the top part off. And yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is about where I come from, but like he moved to Hackensack from Jersey City, so we're kind of in my where I'm from. And I it was re- his car was really really loud, and I remember him driving down like one of the main streets, and I'm kind of just like, oh my god, <laughs> you're ducking <laughs> down. Be seen in this car. <laughs> you know, like when you're that age, like everything is about your look your and your, your rep. And, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot be seen in this car with him. And he was just, but like, I don't know, his parents' names was Lee, Leroy and I don't know. They were just, <laughs> his oh, mother right. had rollers in her hair and they was just hood though. They were like, <laughs> man, hood. I mean, <laughs> like when I was there, she came out with her rollers and her cigarette. I'm like, hi. You know, they, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, I, I don't know. But it was, yeah, it was no connection whatsoever, no chemistry. I didn't understand right. the car. And the, I, I didn't, didn't understand the car. The car, the, the heavy metal. I, I didn't, didn't get it. Yeah. Understand but, the he, car. but he listened to hip hop too, but I don't know. Right. It was just weird and awkward. And I don't think he was comfortable with it either. But how did you guys meet? I want to say Black Planet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think so. Nice. I think so. That's the best part of that story. <laughs> I think so, yeah. All right. Oh, God. What about you, Ralph? Um, I think it's interesting that um, I've, I've dated a white, black, Hispanic um, overseas. Um, <laughs> Who were they? Other. <laughs> other. That's other. Non-American. <laughs> um, and I can honestly say that uh, I don't have a preference. And I think that's, you know, I think some people prefer to date uh, outside of their race or in, in their race. I honestly don't have a preference. Mm-hmm. And um, most of the women that I've dated say that uh, initially they, they find that interesting. And then uh, a few of them have actually said that they, they later on took a little bit of offense to it. Mm-hmm. Interestingly enough, because um, they felt like if I did not prefer them, then it was, uh, you know, it was, it was a, did I have, did I find them attractive if Ooh. I didn't 
actually prefer them. Was that a specific uh, race that the same race I kept saying that or no, whichever? No, no. Um, I've I've had both. Okay, I've had right. both a black person and a white person say that. And yeah. I've had, um, yeah, I've I've had them both say that 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 they found it interesting that I did not have a preference, but that um, and that eventually they felt like that was a little bit of a problem. Mm-hmm. It's uh, people want to feel like their preferred yeah and i just i don't have a preference i i'm all inclusive okay <laughs> no no that's interesting because um yeah like i said before i i don't necessarily have a preference but i do gravitate towards like like white girls and stuff like that and i don't know well not not i don't know i believe it's a combination of like nature and nurture just because i remember back in like high school and stuff like that not that not that i stopped like liking like uh, black women and stuff like I'm that. Waiting for the psychology of this guy. I'm listening. No, but um, I remember. Yeah, I would always try to like try is the operative word to step up to like you know like like the black girls and stuff like that in high school. And what was your game like? None. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. <laughs> that, that's what it was. Um, no, but you know I'd be like oh, you know try to like pass the note and whatever. But then they'd be like <laughs> <laughs> you know like throw it away or or something like that. And I'm just like, oh, man. But I'm like, all right, whatever. But then I would see the type of guy that they would like. And I'm like, oh, you like that dude. Like the 50 Cent type dude or whatever. <laughs> or like, or, Yeah, no, seriously. And something Spring like Valley's so, finest. So I'm just like, oh, man. Like, all right. So I just, I was just never that guy. And I, would, I was never going to be that guy. But other women would take, um, they would, they would like pay attention to me. They'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? And like, they would want to know me. As opposed to like the stature that I could possibly bring, so it was just like that, like just you know they they were more in like m- like white people and white girls were like more in like inviting. They would want to know who I who I was instead of like oh damn you into that like what the hell's Lord of the Rings what the, what is that shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying it was like damn <laughs> yo that shit's pretty good <laughs> like like there's some good movies you know and but no, it, it, it was just like don't, don't lie to people <laughs> they're amazing but anyway <laughs> um. No, it was, it was just like that, and it, and it, I guess that's always been like that in my whatever dating career. That like uh, uh, just black chicks were not looking for guys necessarily like me, but they was always looking for like the same. Well, the ones that I've seen, I don't want to rule all black women as a whole, but like the ones that I've seen, they always like try to go for that that same guy that's like the mover and the shaker or whatever, or you know, their their rendition of what a man is. And it was never, it was he never me. <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 no, but it was, I, I was never in that playbook. So I was just like, Do you think right, you're fine. like a nerd? What happened? Because you're a nerd? Yeah, pretty much. But there's black nerds. Yes, there's always but an exception to the rule. But became a thing a little later. That's like its own little community. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> April knows. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like that, like that's what it was. So I'm like, all right, fine. I mean, I mean, that's cool. You like who you like, and I guess people like who who like me, and then like that's pretty much about it. So I mean, that's how it was for me. I don't know. I think like when I first met my first boyfriend, that won't well, like my first boyfriend who was black, because the Spanish guy is like people think I'm Puerto Rican anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Like their parents were just like, oh, eat rice and beans. Let us come us them. Go make. I'm like, nah, I don't fucking speak that shit. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what's your mom saying? <laughs> um, and I was like 16, so <laughs> whatever. Like I remember meeting his mom, and his. I wasn't like nervous because I didn't think about it. Like, I'm not telling you I didn't see color, but like I didn't overanalyze it in my head. Mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna meet his mom, and like we were friends first, and. I remember I went to his house and his mom was like, um, why are you letting this girl in your house in the house when your room's a mess? And she was just like his mom was like death on wheels. <laughs> like she would look at you and just like scare the shit out of you. And like eventually we became friends. But in the beginning, like she called me and she was like, I don't not like you because you're white. She's like, I don't like you because I don't think you're strong enough for my son. I was like, well, fuck you. <laughs> and her reasoning was because when she went to his house, his room was a mess. And I was like, well, that was your job, not my job. Mm-hmm. So that's one. So I bought him a laundry basket. And then all of a sudden, I was her friend. We hate each other now, but that's fine. She's a nosy <laughs> bitch. But anyway, <laughs> like it was weird at first. Like I felt like sometimes I felt like in the beginning, like 
she was trying to like not like just like not poke fun at the fact that I was white, but be like collard greens. I bet you don't eat collard greens at your house. I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean I won't like try it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Get off my ass. <laughs> you know, and it was a little uncomfortable, but like going growing up and like going to college, I had like friends of all different races and I went to their house and ate whatever the hell their mom put on the table. So it didn't matter. Yeah. But like at that point, I was just like, yo i know i'm white you don't have to remind me every time i walk into your house right. you know so and then eventually she got over it and we became friendlier but you know every once in a while she'd be like you know jen and her italian things i'm like what <laughs> i was like what you're crazy whatever so that that was my first experience and it was like a little awkward mm-hmm. so i don't know but that was that. <laughs> I don't know. It's all really on that. It was just weird. Right. Um, I remember dating, uh, like, I guess uh, I was around 2021, 20, like, dating, like, my first, like, white chick or whatever. And I, was, I wasn't really nervous about dating her because, like, to me, she was just a person. But then she was like, oh, let's, you know, let, let's, like, let's go over to my house or whatever. And I was like, you're, what? You're what now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> And then I was like, oh, snap, I'm going to meet her parents. Oh, snap, they're white. Oh, snap, I'm black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man, what's, what's going to happen here? You know? And I'm like, all right, fine. So I'm pretty sure your mom hates me, Martini. What? The, how did we get here? I was just <laughs> like, thinking about it. About? I was just thinking about it. I'm pretty sure your mom hates me. For, for what? I don't know. Your mom, like, looked at me like the death of a thousand sons. What? I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't, didn't think she didn't like me. <laughs> You're fine. No, but like, yeah, I, I, mom was to the podcast. <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got there, and they were just like, yeah, they're you know, super nice, yeah, just like, hey, what's going on? I was like, hey, what's up? I'm white people don't talk like that. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what white people you hang out with. <laughs> but <laughs> Um, they're called mom and dad, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my family does not talk like that. <laughs> well, there's a lot to, of f bombs. Well, to be fair, it's because like you're like a different. Because I Italian. hate when people say you're, that you're Italian. You're not really why. white. You're you're not you're not Becky White. This was Becky White. You're like Italian White. Someone's That's different. gonna get offended by that. All right, be, let them be offended. That doesn't mean it's not true. All right, whatever. <laughs> but like, um, so yeah, and they're like, oh hey, what's going on? You know, I'm whatever, and I was like, hey, I'm Martini, and like they were really. She was cool. Becky White. Yeah, she was. Mm, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was like it was pretty cool. Like they didn't have any like beef with me, whatever, and like. It was yeah. a good experience. No, it was real, yeah, but real that's good experience. Kinda, you're kind of from like hippie country too. What? <laughs> Isn't it like a lot of hippies up around there. Spring well, Valley? no, no, I, no. Actually, actually, um, she was she was from Jersey, so I what forget part where, of New Jersey? I forget. Um, damn, maybe like uh, like up that way. No, 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 like like uh, <laughs> <laughs> she she up that way. Cause no, I, I mean from like Mont- no, no. Montvale. Or no, 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 Mont- no. Uh, no. Um, Upper Bergen County, like, bougie. Like, like like Paramus Fairlawn. Oh, wow. okay. Over there. Mm-hmm. Any bad experiences, Ralph, with the so. parents of different cultured women, international and or otherwise? Oh yeah. Or good experiences, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, both. Um, mostly. Mostly, it's it. There's a lot of um, covert signals that the parents don't like you. Oh damn! Yeah. Would you like to explain? Well, um, like get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's covert. <laughs> I think that's overt. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll never be. You'll never be good enough for my daughter. I mean, wow. Um. But but. Do you know for certain it was because of what you were as opposed to who you are? I, I think it's interesting that, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting upon it while I'm listening to you guys talk. When I was younger, um, I, I also mostly dated uh, white women. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, mostly what I grew up. I grew up in a, in a very diverse uh, area, and um, most uh, I was probably 80-20 so most of the people that I was around with were, were white. So mm-hmm. naturally, I dated a lot of white women. And um, I think very, very similar to how you described, like not being able to talk with um, 
with uh, black women or have black women uh, find me attractive or find me. I was small. I was, you know, I, I didn't get over 100 pounds until I was 21. Mm-hmm. So I was always a small guy. Right. Uh, I was definitely not 5'10". <laughs> so, yeah. and I you. Think, I, I think I think for um, and and I don't want to speak for the black woman, but I can I think that uh, my experience now is that they're not really looking for someone that they uh, you know they've taken they've got enough to take care of. They're not looking to take care of me too. Like mm. I kind of look like a dude that they that can't defend them. I can't right. I can't bring anything to the table. I'm five you know seven and, and 90 pounds what, what am i supposed to do for anybody <laughs> uh and i think they recognize that even at 14 15 right whereas um i think with the white uh women that i that i was interacting with they they it was more like maybe something new or something different so they were more uh i was more in maybe they were more intrigued by me yeah you know i wasn't like very similar i wasn't Uh, the typical black person i didn't i wasn't loud i wasn't uh, obnoxious or i didn't uh i didn't dress a a certain way so i was i was interesting i was intrigued and so uh, and it was probably very easy to start up a conversation with me and uh i think that gravitated uh, me towards them and them towards me as i got older though and as i um and uh i married a white woman even eventually after dating i ended up marrying when we stayed married for almost uh almost 10 years before uh we eventually divorced but after i divorced her i um i i dated my first black woman right and um i was at a different place in my life i was uh i mean i filled out a little bit not not mm-hmm. uh i mean i was over 100 pounds so i filled out a little bit but mo- mm-hmm. more so most i broke the mark yeah i know I broke the mark. <laughs> yes <laughs> i i i, I you know, lifted a little bit, started, but I, mostly what started happening was, um, you know, I got a job. I um, started taking better care of myself, started dressing a different way, started acting a different way, started presenting myself a different way. And I think at that age, when I was being looked at accorded or, you know, looking into relations, but then when someone saw me, it was no longer... I was the scrawny little guy that couldn't do anything. It was more like, oh, this guy's got his stuff together. Right. This guy's got... So I became more appealing to not just uh, white women, but also the black woman who would now like stop and say, hey, who's that? Mm-hmm. And that became uh, a conversation because where before I was the minority in the... Or the... I was interesting and the, I, I'm no longer interesting. I'm actually interesting to the black woman because now... There's probably less well-to-do or well-off black men as at, you know, 35, 40 who, you know, have a job, who have their own place, have, like, the education, so forth and so on. So I think I became more uh, intriguing, uh, and so I end up, you know, dating a doctor and dating a nurse and dating people who would otherwise not even have looked at me. Right. So... I do think that 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 social economics play a part of it. How you present yourself plays a part in it. Um, you mean like confidence? Uh, yeah, there's confidence. Yeah, no, definitely confidence. Mm-hmm. I definitely, I definitely have a lot more confidence than when I was uh, even five, ten years ago. Even maybe even two years ago, I definitely have a lot more confidence. But um, I'm a lot more confident because I know my worth now. You didn't know your worth back then. I know what I'm worth now. I know that like there's not a lot of me out there right and i know that like i'm not i'm not saying i'm a i'm premium but i'm also not like i'm not discount (laughs) (laughs) right you can't buy me at the dollar store right 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 you you can't pick me up off the corner you're not gonna find me at the at the swingers club or the go-go bar whoa (laughs) i didn't even make a decision yet i'm a really good person (laughs) um so I think that I think that's where I feel like it was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what I think that's that's where 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 I'm at right now mm. um, with dating and and it, within I like right now again I'm, I'm I've since I've uh, gone black I have not gone back. Oh, so the so that yeah. line is true. Yeah. Uh, well, I so mean, weird. I don't know that I wouldn't go back. It's interesting because I was uh, I was talking with my brother uh, on the way here and said I don't know that I. I don't know if I would go back to dating uh, 
a white woman. Not that I that that because I, I still don't feel like I have a preference. What I do, what I do know is that there's a huge difference that I didn't recognize when I was with white people or with white women. Um, the looks that I was getting, how I was being treated, going into restaurants, going into shows, being like uh, the only interracial couple in a room full of white people. Um, I didn't understand the stairs or feel the stairs then as I was going through it. But today, now that I'm, I've, I've been better part of latter years of my life, over 10 years in uh, dating black women, I've, I've noticed, wow, when I walk into, I'm, no one even looks. Mm. There's no looks. There's no, there's no, you know, like, <laughs> nice job over there. Like, right, there's, right, there's, right. There's, there's, there's none of that. There's just, uh, it's just me and my partner. Yeah. It's me and just two people going out for dinner. Just mm. two people going out to a show. Just two people walking in the city. Um, and I didn't, I, I didn't realize how drastically different that was. Uh, not that again, not that it necessarily impacted me, uh, but I, I notice it now that like there isn't the stairs, there isn't the, there isn't any of that. It's just, and it gives me more time and us more time to spend time with each other mm -hmm. than the time in our own presence versus um, all the noise and static that's happening around the world with, you know, this lives matter, that lives matter, this stereotype, this stereotype. Right. You could just spend time with each other mm -hmm. and like trying to grow with one another versus the, the other noise that's are the relationships are difficult enough as it is. Yep. Uh, it's uh you know, the the divorce rates over fifty percent, the relationships are coming and going. It's hard to be in a relationship. Adding the noise or the the, the throwing gasoline on fire doesn't seem like something I would invite again. Right. I I don't know that I I would actively seek it. Mm -hmm. Do you live in a mixed community? Uh, predominantly white. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> predominantly. I, white. I just because I'm listening to like you talk and like I've been in relationships where like I felt what you were talking about, like where like I remember my first boyfriend like he lived up by like, where you live, Martini, and we went to the Applebee's and like he saw some girl from his high school and he was like, oh, this is my girlfriend Jen, and she's like, that's your girlfriend. I was like. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck ever, but you don't know me. Uh, but I, like, I just felt like a little like weird about it. But I think like anything after that, like I just generally don't give a fuck what people think about me. So I think I knew it was happening, but I didn't care so much. And like my ex boyfriend was is was biracial, so his mom was white, his dad was Jamaican, but. We, he lived and grew up in Montclair, which is like the most interracial, diverse town in America, according to Chris Rock's stand up. Um, no, that's true. Right. See? <laughs> and so like everyone there, not everyone, but there are a lot of biracial people and the community itself is like very conscious of what's happening. So I guess like him growing up there, like he it didn't ever it never bothered him and like growing or like living around there at the time, like it just didn't bother me. But, I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about the time that I went with you to the airport to pick up your mom. Mm. That was bad. Like, we picked his mom up from, like, Haiti Air or wherever she flew in from. And, like, everyone was there in customs. American Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> everyone was there in customs, like, picking up their loved ones. And I was the only white person there. And, like, I, you could feel people like just staring and like remember we called kurt and kurt was just like oh it's because you're short and martini's tall i'm like that's not what it is dude. i'm pretty sure that's what it was <laughs> you're fucking ignorant <laughs> <laughs> but i mean it didn't like it bothered me at the moment like i was more just like i wish people would say what they were thinking like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I look at interracial couples and I, I feel bad when I'm by myself. And, like, what I'm really saying is, like, ah, oh, that makes me feel better about the choices I make. And they're probably thinking, like, this bitch is hating when I'm not. But I always look like I'm hating, so whatever. My favorite kind of interracial couple is white guys with black girls. They're so cute. I don't know. 
How do you say something though? Like, what do you know. say? How do you not sound like an asshole? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't think you two should be together just because you're white and he's black. Just saying. <laughs> just <laughs> saying. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I mean, uh, I don't know. The the thing is, it's so weird. Like for uh, the story that I'm about to say, it, it's so weird because some people are just just hating to hate because like I remember when I was um first going out with my ex fiance, she's Costa Rican, but she looks white because people would always I always, thought she was white always mistake her as white. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, I would walk you know in the mall or whatever and stuff like that, and you know like freaking like black chicks whatever just like you know give me like the up and down i'm like you ain't even checking for me anyway what you you don't like me so why are you hating just to hate so wait so black and spanish is okay but black and white is not what do you mean <laughs> your face like i'm saying like no but they wouldn't even just, know just, like i'm asking but if like, they your opinion to the room spanish. like oh, no oh. i'm saying you're like, saying if they knew like, she was spanish like, would they be still okay be hating yeah. right no because she looks white if she if she looked like Maybe like Rosie Perez like or something brown, like that, uh, yeah. or, like, or like that exactly. Mm-hmm. So they can know they're like, oh, all uh, right, <laughs> you know, because because you know why? Because it's minority and minority, because they always feel like, um, you know, just <laughs> just like uh, what we were talking about with the Save the Last Dance thing, like mm-hmm. you taking our men and blah blah blah. But if it's a Spanish person, just like, oh, all right, she just he just likes it because she got fat ass, you know. But it's not because of because <laughs> it's like, oh my God, you're taking our men, no, you know. I think that's why. I think a lot of people have been taught that. I'm like, I don't think they even know what they're talking about. Mm, just, no, that, that that's could, what they were told, and yeah. they just stick with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, also, to uh, to go back <laughs> to what you were talking about about the offensive thing, let me explain. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what I mean? What I do? No, 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 not what you did about um, like, oh my god, why do people say that I'm a different type of white? Blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. Uh, this is why. This, I don't. It makes me. I don't care. No, no, no. But like, no, no. But to people the people will like out talk, there, people like of color will like talk about white people, and then mm. they'll be like, "We're not talking about you, Jen." And I'm like, "I don't. I'm not taking offense. I know you're not talking about me." But like, they're like, "Well, you're not really white." I'm like, "Tell that to my white friends because they think I'm white." No, this is how. <laughs> this is how you're different. I'm not saying that you're like you know the holy grail and stuff like that. But this is how you're different. I am though, actually. All right, take it easy. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is this is how you're different. It's because. You are well in tune to like the urban community. You know what I'm saying? Social work 101. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. And like, <laughs> I have black friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always wanted to say that. No, but like, no, you are. And like, I mean, your freaking favorite. Please tell the audience what your favorite movie is. Shut us. Thank you. What the hell? You know what white people's favorite movie is? Grease. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you're, yeah, and yes, you do have black friends, even though that's like a racist line. <laughs> it is a su- it's a super racist line. I just, I've never used it. It was the first time I ever got to say it. It felt no, really dumb. No, but that's why you're different. So, like, when people say, you know, stuff about white people when they try to exclude you, it's, it's not that you're not. Obviously, yes, you're white, but, like, you're different, and you know more about what uh, black people are talking about or going through. But we're not saying that, you're like, you're black, you know, like or, or an honorary <laughs> black person, you know, but, like... Like I got a degree from Harvard. Yeah, or something. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like that's how it is. Um, and to your point too about uh, the the black women thinking that like you are unapproachable. That's exactly yeah. Like you're right. Like, um, I'm more approachable to white people. Like I really am. like, and it's weird because like I mean I didn't even really notice it until like later in life. But I'm because a lot of people. Oh, well, well, I'll just speak for myself. I have a lot of circles of friends. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, and a lot of them like are like white, but I'll be I'll be that circles token black guy. You know what I mean? But they don't like say, hey, guy, you like you want some like collard greens and chicken? You know, like they don't do that, it, you know, but I'm just like, damn, like y'all ain't got black friends. Like I'm the only one, really, <laughs> you know, but like. But but every time I think about that, it, it reminds me of that um that SNL skit. Remember the one we were, um the Beyonce one, like after the Super Bowl. Oh, they're like Beyonce's, Beyonce's black. Beyonce's yeah, black. they're like, wait, what? <laughs> Beyonce's black because she did the whole uh whatever formation. The, yeah, the formation at the you know and like Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. And then I remember that part where it was like, oh my god, like run, you know, um like I di- I didn't know like Beyonce's black. And then her <laughs> her friend was like, but like Cheryl, I'm black. 
you're not black. And then like, well, what about that guy across the street? And like, he had the like the do rag and stuff like that. Like, he's black. Yeah, you know, like that's the non-threatening black person. Yeah, like, and that's it, and. I don't necessarily take offense to it, but I notice that that's what I am. I'm the non-threatening black person, you know. So I don't like, get you to be more threatening. Well, so does Michael Strahan. So that's okay. That's true too. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's definitely he like that. Yeah. Wayne, Bra- Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Yeah. You know, so mm-hmm. I'm like one of those dudes, which is why I'm more, uh, more accepting to, I guess, the white community and stuff like that. But like, I don't know. Maybe more accepting to white women too. Yeah. Well, Maybe yeah. That's why. Yeah. 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 So, I don't know. I think at the time when you tried to start, when you were like a teenager in high school trying to date black women and they rejected you, I think it's because, too, when you're a certain age, like you date what you know. Mm. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, fathers, uncles, cousins, they weren't like you. So, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like like you would like a foreign you know, like I'm, yeah. I want somebody like my brother, my uncle, my father. Yeah. So, it's kind of like you cl- you're kind of closed minded when you're 15. Like, right. it, like when you grow up, like you said, you met like old later on in life, you tend to be a little more open minded. You're a little more like, oh, OK, you're into sci fi. OK, I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. But like when you're a certain age, you're not that open minded. At 15, we were into our own little thing. What we knew, we didn't like drift outside of really our neighborhoods or, you yeah. know, so. That might have had a lot to do with it. That's now at thirty something, you might. I I think you would meet somebody like a black woman who wouldn't be so quick to shut it down, right? Because you're not like Fifty Cent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had they had no problem reminding me how not black I was. <laughs> yeah. You know, just like damn. All right, guys. Like. I was watching the Mindy Project the other day, and um, Mindy is dating now. Like I, I know her. <laughs> and um, she went on a date with like this Indian guy and he was asking her like, oh, like, have you ever done this or done that? And she's like, no, what's that? Like, she's very like Valley girly, like New York City girl. And he was like, don't you have Indian friends? She's like, mm, yeah, I guess like so and so. And then like at the end of the day, um, she went to like kiss him, like lean him for the kiss. And he was like, nah, I'm out. Like and he, she's like, why? He's like you're cool, but you're a fucking coconut. And he's like, <laughs> she's like, what? And he's like, brown on the outside, white on the inside. Mm-hmm. So then the whole rest of the episode was like her trying to like assimilate with like Indian people. Mm-hmm. So he's like, she's like, I never had, I don't have any Indian friends. I'm being honest now. She's like, you know, and he invited her to a party. And then like, she realized that like, even though the people who were at the party were Indian, they were still very like cultured in America. And then she like asked her mom, like, why, why am I like this? And her mom's like, well, we raised you to be an American, not to be Indian. Mm. So, you know, our cultures and stuff, like, they're important, but we love America, and we want you to assimilate with, like, the American culture, not necessarily the Indian culture, which I just thought was interesting. I mean, obviously, I'm, like, third-generation Sicilian, so, I mean, my family came here, couldn't, like, write or read English and came here, and to my knowledge, like, cooked and killed goats. And, um... So I don't really know. I guess the whole game plan was always to assimilate with American culture. But I just, like, wonder how much, like, when you date people of different races, like, as far as, like, you know, if they're coming from other countries, like, how much that plays a role in it. Like, if they're really just trying to assimilate with, like, American culture or just assimilate with whatever their background is, you know? Well, you know, um, it's interesting because uh, we always have this conversation, uh, my, my brother and I, and we always say, you know, technically we're not black we are actually caribbean Mm -hmm. like we're dominican republic haiti but we've always identified ourselves as black today if someone tells me asks me what i am i'd say i'm a black person Mm -hmm. um i i'm not i was not raised to have be culturally sensitive to the haitian or the dominican community um my my father and mother both speak fluent creole and fluent uh, Spanish, but I can't speak either. <laughs> I, if, if you curse at me in, in Creole, I, I understand it pretty well because mm-hmm. I, I, but I can't, <laughs> I, I can't speak it. Um, same thing with Spanish. Um, and I think it's, um, I, I think it's, you grow up trying to identify and you brought up an interesting point before about how you, you, you grow into what you know, or like 
you know, when you're younger, you grow up emulating um, the people around you or desiring the things that are around you, things that's close to you. It's hard to want someone like perhaps you or I, if that's not what you're used to, if your mm-hmm. uncles aren't, um, you know, walking around talking about rock and roll and mm-hmm. so forth. So why in the world would you, mm-hmm. I mean, like that's how would you like that? And especially in, in, in the, the African-American community, which I feel very much a part of, or as you said, very in tune with the black, uh, the black experience of the African-American community. Um, you grow up and that's what, you know, you don't know anything beyond that. But as you get older and with the invitation of the internet and, and, and mm-hmm. POF, black people, mainly white people can get on black people meet mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and put a profile now. So yeah. there's no, you, you don't have to just stay in a, in a shell. There's some people who, who all their friends don't even go to their school and they're in high school. Like they know people from other communities, other areas. They know, um, I, my daughter's 18 and, when I was 18, I couldn't tell you the difference between an Asian and a and a and a Filipino and a and a and a Taiwanese and a Korean. My daughter can tell you the difference between any one of them now. Um, I can now too, as I've gotten older. But growing up, everyone was Asian. <laughs> right. Everybody's <laughs> Chinese. Or, or, everyone's or, Chinese. Or, yeah, yeah. Or everyone's <laughs> black. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, like you. Uh, what, what are you? I'm, I'm black. <laughs> what, what are you white? Now, there was no your, you know your. Uh, you know, from Chechenia or Bosnia or you're Polish, you're, you know, you're white or Italian. There was, you know, there was (laughs) a lot of Italians. There was a lot of Italians and some Irish, but mostly you were white or you were black Mm -hmm. uh, or you were, you were Chinese. You were, Mm -hmm. you you were that. And that today, um, today the communities are so expansive. um, But, Interestingly enough, it's not it's it's that way here, but it's not that way in other places. Other right. places are still way in tune with like the the story you just said about uh, the, the it, there's a lot of cultures that are very in tune with just their culture Mm-mm. and will quickly say, "Oh no, you're a coconut. Oh no, you're a you got to get our, you know, the rejection. You're <laughs> just we can identify right away that you are not part of us. You might look like us, but we're not letting you you're, you're not assimilating into here because you're not you're not like us, even though you might look like us. You, we can tell that you're not we like know. us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. I mm. think that's what it, it's a difference between two culture and nationality and race. Because you can be black, but you can be from halfway around the world, but you're still, I mean, you're still, you're not white, <laughs> but you're not American either. Like, I mm-hmm. think people associate black with being American. Like, if you say I'm black, it doesn't mean you're American. You can be Jamaican or. Haitian or some Dominican people consider themselves black too. You can be from all these. It doesn't mean you're American, but I think some people, when they hear black, it, they assume the person is American. Yeah. But and the, and the person is really just identifying with their culture. I'm black, but I'm Haitian. I'm black, but I'm Jamaican. But some people, and I think like, because I mean, if two black people are walking down the street and the cops are coming, we both black. <laughs> yeah. I'm, both, not, yeah. I'm not black and you're Jamaican. We both black. Yeah. <laughs> Run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so Ralph, you said that you were with a white woman for a ten you were married to one for ten years, right? Yeah. And now you're with a, a black person? No, black, yeah. Black? All right. So you'd be the best person to ask. Well, not really, because April can answer this too. Does the term black love exist in your eyes? I want theme music right now. Yeah, yeah you know that. Well, that's a that's a very deep that's a very deep question, and I'm. Um, that's why I asked. Yeah, it. does black <laughs> love exist? Um, because I feel I'm sorry to cut you off, yeah. but 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 I feel that like you see some, of course, not all black women. They want to search for that black guy because they want to achieve that elusive black love because black love is everything to them. And of course they can't get that with any other race, culture or whatever. So like, nah, I need that black love. I need my King, you know, and stuff like that. So I want to know if you've reached that status or if you even think that even exists. Uh, I think it exists. It, 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 it likely exists. I don't know that I can 
uh, definitely identify with it as much as um, as maybe someone that were were born, raised, and and, and bred a black. You know, again, I'm even though I identify myself culturally uh, as as a black, I wasn't. I don't necessarily have. It's a. Uh, it's like the other day uh, I was sitting down with my girlfriend and, and I guess they're doing a remake of Roots. Yes. I've never seen Roots. Mm-hmm. I've never seen The Color Purple. Mm-hmm. And she looked at me like, what? <laughs> and I said... I was waiting for April's reaction. <laughs> I said, I, why? I mean, I've never, I've never seen it. I don't... That, that's not something that... And she said, oh, no, no, no. Um, um, the kids, everyone, you know, Christmas, they're watching Roots. You know, uh, you know, holidays and things. You know, kids all get together Fourth of July. They're watching. They're watching a couple of purple. They're we were getting all the kids to watch this stuff. And I'm like, well, I mean, I've I've, I've seen Passion of the Christ, <laughs> I, I, but that's not something that I. Yeah, I mean, that's what I've identified with. You know, faith. Yeah, faith, yeah, but yeah. not necessarily. And, and I think that goes back to like, you know, that's when I remember that. Oh, I'm not black. Like, right. Like identify myself, but that right there just shows me like because uh, when I say that, a lot of people look at me like, "How could you not have seen it?" I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who haven't seen it. Yeah, there just probably isn't a lot of black people. But then I'm reminded, like, you know, I'm I'm not black. And right. That's probably why I haven't seen it yeah. because I that's not something that uh, impresses upon my my soul or my 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 psyche. And yeah. so I don't know that I could I could definitely identify with the black love movement. That that's probably something better for someone who actually would be you know maybe have seen the color <laughs> or, or, no, or that, roots. But that's a very good thing too. Like I said before, like how a lot of people, black girls and guys, you know, they would say they would be very shocked about how a lot of like black mo- black movies that I haven't seen, you know, like what you didn't see this, you didn't see that. Oh, but you saw this though, right? And I'm like, nah, man. I saw the Matrix though. <laughs> you know, like the Matrix is a great movie. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh my god, like it. I think I'm surrounded by sci-fi nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, it, I think but, it goes back to your household too when you mm-hmm. grew up, like where your parents. I mean, Black American parents were probably more likely to show you Roots of the Color Purple as opposed yeah. to you know, like your parents came here right when they were. Yeah. It's like we're here trying to make a better life. We ain't thinking about color purple. I'm <laughs> yeah, we're trying to make sure y'all do better than we did. We're not thinking about the color purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. I've seen like roots like once, and I've seen the color purple like once. But you tell me to pick a scene or a line, not well the Kunta Kinte thing or whatever. But like, but that's about it. Um, yeah, but yeah, I completely identify with that. I feel what like you it's just an said. American thing too. I mean, I, I feel like it's like a maybe a black, more black American thing, the black cinema. Yeah. Because I was in the movies watching The Color Purple when I was two. <laughs> so it's, it's like... You better get this. Yeah. I was, my mother had me in the movie theater. So it's like, you know, it's yeah. different when your parents right. are American, I think. Right. Yeah. So, April, what do you feel about black love? Does that exist? Or you think it's hogwash or poppycock or whatever? What the fuck? In English term, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I think it exists at a time now where black people need it to exist because mm. everything's going on in the country. I think that's, that's I think it's up there with the Black Lives Matter thing. Right. But at the end of the day, if somebody loves you, it doesn't matter what they are. Mm-hmm. Love. I mean, I don't think love has a color. I think if somebody loves you, they love you. Like, I mean, I think it's black love. If you understand the need for me to go get my dreads retwisted, that's black love. I don't care who you are. <laughs> if you're going to hand me the $65 and, like, I see you, I see it's time, you know. I see it's that's time. That's black love in a way. <laughs> but, yeah. like, but, but actually, love has no color, though. Right. But I think that's more of a way of just uniting and, you know. Yeah. But sometimes, I mean, I think it's about understanding the per- other person's culture without necessarily being the same culture. Mm. Like, if you can understand this is what, why I have this bonnet on. <laughs> <laughs> if you can understand why she has to tie her head up, then that, right. that's all that matters. I understand his need to play racquetball. <laughs> 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 And go hiking. Right. You know, like, I mean, I'll go. I'm just saying this. Yeah. No, no, those are all good no points. No other black people on the trail, but. <laughs> 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 we, 
I went hiking once. We were the only black people. Right. Yeah, we were the only black people. But like, did was that uneasy for you? Did they make you feel like you were the only black people on there? Like, well, nobody really. I mean, I don't know if anybody paid us any attention. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. Because my boyfriend's six two and he has like a beard, and mm-hmm. just, they probably did look at us. Mm-hmm. Well, he's intimidating looking. We were in Mawa, probably, <laughs> but I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't really. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Okay. Um, I do have well two articles here. One of them does stress about what you were just talking about. Um, and it's uh, the article is about five reasons why black women don't date white men. And I want them to, though. <laughs> They're like the cutest couple. <laughs> I want them to. Um, and number one was, well, not number one, just the first one is uh, body image. And they were talking about, the article was talking about how uh, usually black women are very curvaceous and stuff like that. And a lot of black men will, you know, they'll pride themselves in that. Like, oh, yeah, that's my girl. You know, she got that fatty, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But stereotypically, white men are the opposite. They don't right. want that. They're like hips. Like, oh no, mm-hmm. you need to go to the fat. What? You need to go to the gym. Yeah, they could consider it just fat. You know how fat. many times I've heard fuck it, my roommate be like, her ass is too fat. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But but in the oh. bad way though. Yeah, like yeah, not yeah, not like yeah, yeah, yeah. like I like no, her ass is too big. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not like slow down, that ass is too fat. Not right. that. <laughs> not that way. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, that that explains a lot why a lot. It just explains a lot. It just explains a lot. No, but yeah. So I found that interesting because, like, yeah, um, yeah, they're just like, oh, honey, like, uh, looks like you're packing a couple pounds there and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I'll be like, bro, are you serious? She could pack on a couple more. What you doing? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, why are you saying that for? <laughs> you know, like, why would you say that? Um, so I thought that was, I thought that was very interesting. And what you were just talking about, number mm-hmm. two, is hair, mm-hmm. because they said that, um, white people aren't used to the many definitions of a black woman's hair and what they go through, whether it's Mm -hmm. like, you know, dreads, braids, weaves, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They're just like, what is going on there? You Mm -hmm. know, but like, even though some black guys might not, uh, not necessarily like it or whatever, but they understand because they grew up with it with their moms or whatever. I I dated a guy once and he never dated a white girl before. And I don't know if I was like his token white chick or whatever. But I remember like the first time like we just hung out together. He was like, can I touch your hair? I was like, y- yeah, sure. And he was like, <laughs> isn't it supposed to go the other way around? No, and, then, <laughs> and he was just like, this is your hair. I'm like, I grew it myself. <laughs> and he's just like, this is so weird. He's like, it smells like shampoo. And he was like, the next day is like, I was telling my homegirl about your hair. I'm like, why? Like, I didn't understand why he was, like, so fascinated with it. Mm -hmm. You know, he also called me Snowflake, so that bothered me. (laughs) But, like, like, I mean, it was a cultural aspect that, like, since it was, like, kind of the other way around, I guess. Like, I just wasn't, I didn't know what to make of it. I was just like, okay, cool. Like, I understood why it's different to him. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, I was kind of just like, get the fuck over it. It's not a big deal. (laughs) Right. Um, number three, the number third reason why black women don't date white men, background and education. Um, it says here that statistics show that Caucasians have more money, better education, better jobs, and more opportunities. In the black community, we naturally have to work twice as hard and be three times smarter to achieve the level of success deemed to be successful. White men are very successful and usually date a woman who is as successful or at least in the same class as himself. At least then he feels as if he has something in common with her. Because the black community doesn't have as many advantages, this leaves desirable black women to a minimum. So I thought that was very interesting. That's actually probably true. Mm-hmm. Um, I dated a, an anesthesiologist, and um, she was black, and uh, she definitely uh, dated more white men than she did uh, black men, and probably because of what you just said. Mm-hmm. Because it's... it's uh, not because that, I mean that's what she said. It was more. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely di- more difficult for her to find um, black men that were uh, either at her level or willing to accept that she was a doctor. Um, mm. Which um, you know, obviously, not only does it does it shrink the pool, then once you're you you have the available pool in front of you, you know. 
it shrinks it even more because you, you have to eliminate education, lack of, uh, and you're left with not very many options where uh, if you expand it to include whites or um, other races, you you expand your pool. Nobody wants to be in a limited pool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, just, uh, it, it, I guess it would kind of sucks if, you know, you, you're, you've made yourself successful and then now you're limited to like, you know, instead of a hundred people, you're limited to five and Oof. four and four of them are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, the, black, the black men that she meets doesn't date black women. Like if she goes to a doctor's conference or something yeah, and there's black they're, doctors there, they not gonna, they may not look at her. No, because they're yeah. probably dating a white person. Oh, person right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the, yeah. the, I mean, the truth is, is a, uh, I mean, if a black man is a doctor, he didn't just, I mean, not uh, if you're if 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 any minority becomes a doctor, it's probably because they're they've uh, yeah, well, they've had to go through, you know, countless of uh, schools, education and whatnot, uh, gra- undergrad, grad, postdoctorate, doctorate, uh, internships and such. They probably already assimilated into a, a large um, Caucasian or influential community already Mm -hmm. whereas like you know the the person who who went from high school to college and got like their ba you know maybe their time with uh with with the other community has been limited so they can still like what they like Mm -hmm. it's going to be hard to to find a lot of uh down black folks if Mm -hmm. you're if you're trying to be a doctor if you're trying to be a lawyer if you're trying to be you know rocket scientists you're just you're just limiting your pool there's not a lot of options yeah uh, just because there's not a lot of you um going in that direction yeah it just limits the, the, the availability so yeah i remember going i remember going to college um and like i took a lot of art you know so i was in like you know photography and like 2d and 3d drawing and stuff like that and then like all the time i, I mean i went in I don't know. I don't know if it necessarily bothered me, but I did notice it. Like I would like sit down. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. You know, listening to the teacher, and then I look around. I'm like, the fuck? Like, where are the black people at? You know, like not, but not (laughs) that I've not that I was like, oh, I need more black people in this classroom. But I was just like, oh, I'm the only one. All right, whatever. And then I go to like another class. I'm like, again, I'm like, what the black people don't like pictures? Like I don't understand. Like where are they? (laughs) Like I don't understand. But I mean, sorry, but stereotypically, you'd go to the gym. Oh, there you are playing basketball. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you know, it's like, I so I I understand that. Number number four is they ne- they are never approached by white men. Um, it says we as black women are constantly criticized for being the ones not open to dating outside of our race, but what happens when white women when white men just do, do not approach us? Statistics show that white men usually date within their race, and if they don't they are more likely to date Hispanic, Asian, or Pacific Islander. The percentage of white men and black women that date is a very low one. Ladies, I have news for you. White men don't approach anybody. <laughs> <laughs> they assume we have attitude. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. I've been told that. Right. I've never been yeah. approached by a white guy in my life. Not um. ever. <laughs> I've but I have an attitude, so there's that. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen she's a bitch. <laughs> I've seen statistic wise that like yeah, uh, black women and Asian men are like the lowest, like like mm. like dating, you know, like being approached or whatever, like dating. I was just like, damn. Maybe because like, the rumors that Asian men have little penises. Yeah, but jeez, and, <laughs> and the uh, Asian culture everything? usually stays. Yeah, they usually definitely yeah, stay yeah, together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And number five. Um, they are just not attracted to white men. <laughs> they felt as if they lacked good. good <laughs> they felt as if that they, they lacked good looks that were used that they were used to, as well as confidence, aka swag and sex appeal. Because of, because of it, this was hard for most of them to really become serious and potentially be able to have a serious relationship with a white man. Um, April, you have, were you, you've never been approached by a white guy ever in your career, mm. your dating career, career? <laughs> your dating career. <laughs> I would say maybe once, mm-hmm. but not 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 really, not like on a regular basis. No. Oh yeah, remember Atlantic City? Those creepers. Oh, was he black? He was drunk though. <laughs> 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 Wait, well, why does that negate him going Be- up to you? Because drunk white people talk to everybody. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and for some reason in South Jersey, like 
I don't know. Like everyone is in an interracial relationship down mm-hmm. there. It was really weird. Like you didn't see any like same race couples. But it's white. It was white women and black mm-hmm. men. Mostly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Horrific looking white women. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. But they, no, they were Becky white women. They weren't like what you consider me white women. Mm-hmm. Whatever that is. I don't know. I'll just roll with it for the sake of the podcast. <laughs> but like they were like, I, I, white. I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> I were, explained the difference. <laughs> they were like white, white women. And they're like, oh my God, you're so cute. And then he's like, yeah, girl. And she's like, oh my God, I'm with black guys. This is great. I'm like, oh God, shoot yourself, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and we're both standing there like, like, we don't stand a chance up in here. Like, we out. <laughs> Fuck you both like ice grilling everybody. Oh, we're, but the white guy in the Jitney liked you. Remember his last name was Warren? We had the same last name, and he's he like, you're too. Irish. And I'm like, you're black. <laughs> Why I gotta be Irish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember the guy? guy? I, they must. They think you're Spanish. Yeah. I think part of the reason, because you're standing there with me, so you must be Spanish. Right. <laughs> but we was in Florida, and Biggie came on. Remember? Oh, and the guy came up to us singing the lyrics. And he's like, you know the words. Like, like hyped. A, a, a white like, guy? Yeah. And we were standing <laughs> wait, there like, wait, wait. maybe we look like we're from Jersey, New York. Right. Or maybe he just assumes we know it. So he just rolled we up did, to you and but was that's like, not the <laughs> he rolled up, he rolled up to you and was like, like yo, you know guys know the words. Like, no, he what? didn't say that. He came up to us. It was all a dream. Oh. <laughs> we were like. Oh, to like join in or whatever. We were like. What the I'm like, fuck? she's from Ringwood. I'm from Hackensack. We're scared. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> These Florida guys are crazy. Wow. Yeah. He just assumed. I, I think he assumed Jin knew because he probably thought she was. Spanish. I feel more comfortable with like ethnic people than I do with white people. Like if we went to a club and there was all white people there, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. But then like we went to Carnival and went to Florida, went to uh, all Caribbean, all Jamaican people. I'm just like, we good. We're, we're cool. We're in here. This is the difference. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But, like, I I, I can go into a room. I mean, obviously now. Like, I can go into a room filled with, like, all people of color. And I'm just like, okay, we're I'm here. I'm, whatever it is, I'm here for. I'm here. Yeah. But, like, I have friends who are white who will be like, where are the only I was like, no, you the only one. <laughs> I was like, that's you. <laughs> but, like it does. So I guess like dating, like I just that thought process like carries over. Like yeah. I never look at it like, oh, I'm dating somebody of color. Like I'm just like, oh, I'm dating this guy. Like yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think of it like that. I don't think of it until one of my like uber white friends are like. Do you ever think about dating white guys? I'm like, nope, never. I'm like, this is you fucking want to know. Never. I just never think about it. Yeah. Do I need to remind you of the restraining order? But like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think about it. Like, it's not anything. I don't know. It's just not a thought process for me. And it's not that I don't see color because I do. I get it. I understand it. I just don't. And I'm like, re- this is like right here in my face. Your your notes here. That's what and I'm looking at. Too. And it says people will assume it's a fetish. And I hate that right i hate it like don't tell me like oh it's a phase you're going through or she'll get over it and i hate when guys are like so do you only date black guys what the fuck does that mean does it matter i like you so shut the fuck up that's it we're done (laughs) like then i'm just like oh god is this like a thing for you like do you just want to date a white girl like do you think that like i know something I don't know. Is there like a rumor that like white girls give head or something? Like I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like whatever your thought process is or a stereotypical thing you have, like drop it now. I, I think it the stereo the, I think the stereotype is just that, you know, if if the black guy finds a white girl who likes black guys, she'll be like more amped because like, oh, it's a black guy. I always wanted to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, how big is it? You know, like, and all that stuff. And he's like, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you know, and try to like, whatever, floss or whatever. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who talks like that? <laughs> Not mean, <laughs> you know? So, no, I think that's how, I think that's why, like, they get Oh, amped. it gets me so heated, though. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Like reading your thing. Yellow fever, jungle fever. Yeah. Or status thing. Yeah. Oh, you're down with the brown? down with the swirl what oh who yeah swirl that? yeah who says that uh, people <laughs> i okay. never say that well because i can't right i don't know I don't no no, no. <laughs> I, I didn't say that because you can't no you can't say swirl no i, I don't know <laughs> but no, i've heard people say it like oh down with the swirl and stuff like that i'm like every time that's somebody says that i just weird. think of the, i just think of the ice cream like you know the ice cream cone that's what i think about 
but but yeah um and also too like just like you said uh when people get into a interracial relationships you know they get like stupid questions just like oh what's what is sex like with a blank person right and stuff is just like i don't know <laughs> you know yeah i'm a bad bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah or or like they say like oh you're so brave you know like yeah i don't like that that's weird well, that makes me uncomfortable i mean i'm brave because i love somebody go fuck yourself well i mean well no seriously no to to counteract that i have a friend who um well I have like a couple like their friends. Like I have friends, <laughs> and um, they're getting married. Um, Are they biracial? Ju- yeah, June twelfth. Okay. And that is the fifty first anniversary of the first time that an interracial couple was able to get oh, married. Oh, that's so. That's nice. why it matters. <laughs> so like, and and yeah, it's it, it it's still. I mean, obviously not as bad as it was back then, but it's still. You still got to be quote unquote brave because you know you'll have people look at you. You'll have the families like look at you like, oh, you couldn't stay within your own race. Like, what's wrong with, you know, what's wrong with us? You know, why you got to bring? <laughs> have y'all seen y'all motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, uh, that's why. I don't know. I don't, love may be blind, but society isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I like totally skipped the article. No, so no, the no. Article you're doing that, it. Go the ahead. article that you're gonna put up is I don't know who it's by. It doesn't really matter. Plop dot net. I don't know, but, but, no, but yeah. So but people it, will assume it's a fetish. Love may be blind, but society isn't. We've already kind of covered that. Yeah. People stare. People look. People say shit. Yeah. The, yeah. The themselves. article is just talking about the truth of interracial dating and things to be worried about if you make the jump. You will be scared to meet each other's family. What guys need to understand though is that confidence crosses all color lines. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what you are. If you approach a woman with confidence, mm-hmm. it's a whether she. I mean. I don't know about, I know some, maybe some people are more concerned with money and, but sometimes you can be broke and not doing so well at the time. But if you like step to her, like, listen, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm working on. Mm. And you have a little, not like superficial swag, but like something coming from inside. Yeah. It's different. It doesn't matter. I, I think, I think some women might be like, okay, he's white, but got a little charlie hunnam little <laughs> jacks going hey, on hey. he has a little you know brad pitt to him right 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 like it would be different mm-hmm. yeah um and we are we are we already talked about this too like women will shun your girlfriend um and if you're a guy i'm so confused well no like like well if you're if you're dating um like interracially like women will be like uh like why you didn't hurt like it says right, right here right, 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 like right, you right. remember like it says you remember that movie save the last dance when the white protagonist in the movie starts a relationship with a black guy. Now she's a protagonist. And the guy's female <laughs> friend responds with white girls like you creeping up, taking our men. The whole world, the whole world ain't a lot, ain't enough. You've got to conquer ours too. So that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've never had that before, but I know, I know, I know people like just that. like right. s- stare at you. Just like, why are you with her? Like, how come you didn't pick us and stuff? It's like, yeah because that comes from dealing with everything else mm-hmm. society hands you and then it's like i can't even get a man <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that comes from people like kind of how she get him blaming <laughs> other things that you know right mm-hmm. it's like it, a part of it's true but then the other part is that really has nothing to do with why you don't have a man i felt the same way in atlantic city <laughs> i was like why is he with her <laughs> like, what could they possibly have in common? I was like self hating on white people over there. I was just like, I don't get it, cause like, I don't like you said. Like I, I my favorite movie chapters. I listen to hip hop, whatever the case may be. Like I feel that in order to have any kind of successful relationship, there has to be some kind of like commonality. And I don't know what Becky has in common. Maybe she does like Jay Z. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe she does. Maybe I'm just being fucking ignorant. But, you know, she's over here listening to Third Eye Blind and shit. I'm like, well, I mean, if you're into that, then maybe he's into Third Eye Blind too. Who the fuck knows? No, no, but I'm just saying. I don't know. Because I remember, um, uh, the the last date that I went on, she was like, "Do you listen to?" Ke-? She was a, uh, she, she was a uh, white and um Iranian, and oh, she dang. was like, "Oh, don't meet do- her parents." I was like, she was like, "Oh, um, oh, what kind of music do you listen to?" I was like, "Oh, like, pretty much anything," you know, like like whatever whatever has like good beat whatever but like you know hip-hop and all that stuff and 
um, rock, all that stuff. She was like, oh, do you like Kevin Gates? And me, I'm just like, you listen to Kevin Gates? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I do. I was like, in my I mean, yeah, Who's that? I, I was so it was a rapper. It was like, oh. but I was just like, I was so stereotypical about. it. I was like, what the? But you're white though. How you know about Kevin Gates? <laughs> you know, in my head. And she's like, oh yeah, I like him a lot. I went to his concerts. He's awesome. I was just like, whoa, that's cool. I mean, I don't listen to him, but I was like, yo, you just went up like ten points. That's pretty cool. You know, and just because. <laughs> it, you, but you gave her the boot anyway. What happened? So much you gave her the boot anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like Kevin Gates. Mm, we ain't got nothing coming by this. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the other hand, you lose points when you don't know sometimes. What do you mean? It's like how you black and you never saw the color purple. Oh yeah, like, yeah. You lose cool points. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes people will look at you like, I mean, I remember the being like one of what it was like two black girls at the office. Yeah, two, two. And you yeah, and like two. yeah, and it pretty much stayed that way it was like two young and one older mm-hmm. black mm-hmm. person and i was the one asked how to do some dance that was oh, out oh it was like the dougie yeah they were like april, april show knows. us how april show us how to do the dougie <laughs> i and love I'm, that and i'm standing there like the i what? was like oh it's about to go down yeah. the what <laughs> i'm like what makes you think i know <laughs> please do tell i'm like with the charlie and the chocolate factory meme like do tell <laughs> <laughs> How you think I know how to do it? I feel you. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I lost points with like my peers. <laughs> like, what? You never saw blah blah. I'm like, nah, man. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't. I mean, it's it, it's it's sad to say, just like you said. You know, you you can't identify, and then they make you feel bad. Like, you don't know about the struggle. I'm I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I think at the end of the day, you just got to do what feels right and i think that you know if you're going to be in an interracial relationship i do agree that you have to have like a strong demeanor because like ralph was saying relationships are hard enough and to take the other side of the spectrum like you said you don't know if you'd want to go through that struggle again I'm not saying that you're not mm-hmm. a strong person but i think you have to be a strong person because whether you want to see it, whether you do see it, whether you want to believe it or whatever, I think there's always going to be somebody who's trying to throw salt in your game or trying to has an opinion about what you're doing. And I think that, you know, if you don't have the foundation of you don't give a fuck from the door, then it's going to make things even harder. And like you were saying, relationships are really hard enough as it is. So you have to kind of come from a place like i feel like if you're in a relationship and the two of you love each other i don't give a shit like april said what color you are like rock on like you like look at fucking people are swinging dude <laughs> like we're over here talking about into relationships and like people of the same race can't even keep their shit in their pants like it's bigger than that i know this is a problem not a problem this is a thing yeah but like you know what i'm saying so if you find someone they could be fucking barney purple you know as long as you're down for that person, that person's down for you, then it shouldn't matter. Yeah. I personally think it should matter. I do know that people do think it does matter, but. And I'll piggyback off that. Definitely, yeah. Um, yeah, love, like, you know, I hate this, like, cliche thing, but, like, yeah, love is love. But at the same time, I- I'll say that I do believe you should just explore. You know, mm-hmm. like, I-, I mean, I don't think you should be like, all right, I did white this week. Let me do freaking, you know, Puerto Rican next week, you know what I'm saying, or like next month and stuff like that. But like, I think you should just just explore, man. Just whoever, wherever, just like see how everybody like lives culture wise, all that stuff, and just do that. And I don't know, whatever you settle on, you settle on, or if you don't have to settle, whatever, just keep doing you. But I, I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't say that you that you'll miss out on something if you just you know, keep with your own race, but I think you should just be as open minded as you can possibly can. Because I found the meme, sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's good. I, I mean, don't know if we're there yet. But no, no, I mean, well, we just have that last thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. With the I was just mad. I was just like, oh, I had a job to do again. <laughs> <laughs> but you got one though? Yeah, I'm good. I'm All right, good. that's good. No, but the, just just a super quick um article, not even a real article, but just there's there's even like you said, there's more issues at hand than just like interracial celebrities and then um, celebrities uh couples but there's a lot of celebrities in interracial relationships too like robert de niro he's with a black um woman 
Yes, woman. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, <laughs> like gonna she say, is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> she is a woman. Like Matthew McConaughey is with a Brazilian person. George Lucas is with a black person. Robin, well, Robin Thicke used to be with Paula Patton. He uh, fucked it up. Obviously, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, David Bowie and Amon, like we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, Tamara Mari, even though she's getting hate, yeah, a lot of hate, a lot, yeah. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, well, he's recently divorced, but. I just thought that was interesting. Um, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen and um, Chris Noth from Law and & Order and Sex in the City with a black person. So. Oh, go ahead, Chris Noth. Yeah. It's my favorite kind. From what? interracial relationships. Oh. <laughs> so. I'm allowed to have favorites, damn it. <laughs> so it's just, yeah, just keep an, op- keep an open mind. That's uh, that's all I got to say about that. I mean, Ralph, do you have anything I just think to that, add? I just think that um, I, d- I just think that if you're going to be in an inner racial relationship mm-hmm. that the point shouldn't be to be in a in a racial relationship it right. should be just to be in a relationship absolutely if it happens to be interracial it happens to be interracial right um and honestly that if you're it, like as i said before d- there's enough difficulties in the relationship as it is you have to be um self-aware self-confident we talked about confidence a lot you have to be self-aware self-confident um self-efficient you know, before you even think of like sharing your life with someone or growing with someone or trying to uh, be in someone's life, uh, if if you don't have all that stuff together, and then on top of that, you're 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 either eliminating an, an entire race or, or trying to say you're going to be exclusive outside of your race, and you don't have any of that together, I mean, you're you're already gonna have you're gonna be taking a lot of L's. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're gonna be taking a lot of day. You're gonna be single for a long time if if. If you don't have your stuff in order and you're trying to date outside of your race or you're, I mean, even if you're trying to exclusively date within your race, it, it, your stuff's not in order, you're going to have a lot of troubles. And so mm-hmm. regardless, make sure your stuff is in order. And if you're going to be in an interracial relationship, one of you has to really be strong in the aspect of not, not, not ignorant, um, but where it, re- it honestly doesn't matter where it doesn't matter what they're like you truly it truly doesn't matter to you if one of you can you can kind of make it if 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 both of you don't care then you'll you'll make it but if one of you doesn't care uh and the other one kind of like you that other person might be able to drag them along but if both of them if both of you have already some kind of uh apprehension to it or you're already like uh I don't know about it. It's just gonna fail. It's yeah. Just, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna make an end. You're gonna have a bad uh, taste, and all the rumors and the stories of uh, that that you read, all the stereotypes just continue to blossom and continue to be fed, and that's why um, interracial relationships are difficult because of those types of failures um, happening. And like I said, it's the same thing that's happening in regular marriages. The reason why people don't want to get married. Mm-hmm. And probably the same reason why people don't want to go into an interracial relationship. They hear all the all the negative condemnation that's coming with it, all the, the, the negative stuff that's coming and say, oh, you know what, I'm not even going to bother with that. Yeah. But uh, there is something beautiful. Uh, Time Magazine put, put, a, put a picture of what the world's going to look like in 50 years. Yes, and I saw that. It was an amazing, because I, I have children. They're all interracial, biracial, I mean. And um, they're beautiful. Mm. And to think in 50 years how different this world is going to look and how beautiful it's going to look um, because of, of, I mean, this is, the, this is the where the world is going. Yeah. So if you're going to completely say I'm, I'm not or I don't, you know, they can't go into the same bathrooms with me or I'm not going to go into this. I'm not, yeah. not going to date outside of my race or I'm not, you know you're going to be left behind because in 50 years, the world is going to look like that. Yeah. Um, that's, that's what we're heading towards. Mm-hmm. Just accept to be open to it and understand it. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So Jen, we are at, the I'm end. so offended right now, dude. Okay. So I thought we were going to end on a good note. Yo, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like I was like, I found like a meme that I was like, okay, that will do for now. And I'm like going through the meme box I don't know why I'm so fucking surprised. Hold on. I mean, oh you God. can read some of them. No, I will not. <laughs> this is like the furry thing. Like, I'm not offending anybody. Mm. I'm just not. So the one that I picked originally, I can't even talk. I'm so 
blah. Um, as you were talking about the Willy Wonka guy, mm-hmm. um, he said, not a fan of interracial dating. Tell me again about the exclusivity of your family's fancy white gene pool. Because mm. at the end of the day, even us Caucasian folks are probably not 100% pure. So Right. I've seen I've seen a lot of people on YouTube doing the genealogy right. things, mm-hmm. and then they're all like, "What the? I'm like five percent Cameroon? What the? Yeah, like <laughs> you know? my cousin <laughs> in Georgia looked up like what we were because she like really wants to be Jewish bad. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, hey, whatever. And like I guess like she said that like she dug back deep enough, and there was like some like Arabic. I was like, oh, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. So I was just like, all right, whatever. Sorry, I'm just like totally thrown off. I was like sitting here listening to Ralph and going through the pictures and I was like, holy fucking internet racism, Batman. It was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, the internet is a Fuck the internet. Bad, bad place. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But well, guys, thank you for coming and joining in on our conversation. Sure. Even though you didn't know you were coming to talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what know, we do. We I just thought me and, and the brother was just going to sit back and watch. and No, no, no. <laughs> I, mean, I had to participate. And he got I'm to like, watch come over. We can get Chipotle. <laughs> and you're like, like, sure. And then I'm, I'm like, here's a mic. Put your headphones on. <laughs> That's like, what we do what? here. <laughs> no. no, but thank you, April. And thank you, Ralph, for thank sharing you your both. story. Thank you, thank you, Ralph. Yeah. No doubt. That was awesome.